Hi everyone, how to represent the hypothesis in concept learning? Here, many representations are possible for hypothesis H that contains conjunction of the constraints of uh, all attributes. For example, this some this uh, data set is having six attributes attribute sky attribute temperature humidity wind water forecast so th the last column is the target concept which is going to be learned by our learning system so here each attribute is having its own value sky is having value sunny for the training example one and for training example three we are having different value rainy like that temperature is having warm uh, for the uh, two first two examples and uh, third training example which is having the cold so two different values humidity is also having two different values normal and high for the different training examples so like that which is having uh, two uh, different values uh, in for each attribute so based upon that here the hypothesis is defined with the different conjunction of uh, uh, conjunction of constraints on attributes here the constraints are uh, defined with three different types here quotient symbol is one of the constraint that means it will accept any value any value can be given for example the sky is having three different value uh, sky is having three different values sunny or cloudy or rainy so if you mention with the quotient symbol then that particular hypothesis quotient symbol will accept uh, sometimes sunny or uh, rainy also accept or cloudy also accept based any value will be acceptable for this uh, constraint quotient symbol and the next one is specify with single record value for example you see in this example we have specified the first attribute value in the hypothesis sunny so here this attribute for this hypothesis will accept only the sunny it will not at all accept the another value cloudy so cloudy also cannot be accepted rainy also cannot be accepted because which is specifically uh, represented with single value that is exact required value so this is called another one attribute in the attribute or constraint in the uh, another one constraint in the given hypothesis so third constraint is here null value so the sup suppose if it is represented in this place if it is represented null means then it will not at all accept any value no value is acceptable so here finally the uh, the hypothesis will have conjunction of all the constraints of uh, conjunction of constraints of attributes here the first one is here in this hypothesis sunny so sunny uh, uh, then conjectured with quotient symbol conjectured with another quotient symbol third one then fourth one is uh, strong then fifth one is conjected with strong and then conjected with the quotient symbol then conjected with the same so conjunction of constraints on attributes so this is the way to represent the hypothesis for learning system here if it is most general hypothesis representation then all the attributes are represented with the quotient symbol that means uh, it will accept any value for the uh, uh, training example so mostly it will be the positive examples and what is the most specific hypothesis representation all the attributes will not at all accept any value so the that is uh, mentioned with the null symbol so this is the meaning it will not at all accept any value that means the no day is positive example so on that particular day we cannot play the water game so because of that null value features in the attributes so that is called negative examples so this is the way to represent the hypothesis in learning system